Hello, this is Christy, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. I'm here to give you a tour of Jupyter, the new theme for the cPanel interface. Here we are in the cPanel interface. Your hosting provider can customize the interface and enable or disable certain features. So your interface may look different than mine. Let's start with the main menu, located on the left sidebar. This menu appears on every page in our interface. It allows you to quickly jump back to the Tools page, either by clicking Tools or the logo. The Tools page is the default home page. If your hosting provider enables WordPress Toolkit, you'll see it below Tools. At the top of the page, you'll find the navigation bar. You can use the search box to quickly find the interfaces you need. Let's pretend we want to add a new domain. To easily find the interface, I'll type Domains. A list appears showing options. If you aren't sure which one you want, we've added a brief description of each interface. The first entry that appears is Domains. Create, manage, and delete multiple domains. When I click on Domains, it takes me directly to the Domains interface. You can learn more about creating new domains in the Domains Tutorial. I've added a link in the description below. But for now, let's head back to the Tools page. I'll use the main menu to go back. The Notifications icon is a bell. If your notifications has a blue dot on the bell, you have a warning, message, or error on your cPanel account. Click the Notifications icon to display them. There are a few functions hiding under your cPanel account. Let's click it. You can change your account preferences, change your password, choose the language in which the interface appears, and change your account's contact information. If you've made changes to the order of the feature groups, you can always reset the page setting to defaults with the Reset Page Settings option. I'll show you how to rearrange the order of groups later on in this video. To log out of cPanel, click Log Out at the bottom of this menu. But we're not done showing off the interface, so let's continue. In the middle of the page, you'll find a full list of cPanel features. Wow, that's a lot of features! To help you navigate, we have divided them up by sections based on what each feature does. For instance, anything related to email goes in the Email section. To access a feature, Click on the icon or the name. You can click the arrow in the top right-hand corner of the group heading to collapse the group, or click the arrow on a collapse group to open it back up. Do you use databases a lot? Well, you can drag it and drop it closer to the top. If there's a section that you rarely use, you can collapse it and drag it further down. The General Information section displays information about your cPanel account like your account's username and your account's IP address. This little menu allows you to switch between the Jupiter and Paper Lantern theme. But this video is about the Jupiter theme, so let's not change, okay? Server information displays information about your hosting package, your server's name, software versions, and so on. This is useful if you have software or scripts that depend on a particular version of PHP or Perl. Below general information, you'll find your account statistics. Lots of helpful information here, such as how many email accounts you have, how much bandwidth you've used in the past month, and how much disk space you use. That's helpful if your hosting plan limits your account and you need to watch out for overages. If you see an infinity symbol, this indicates an unlimited quota. If you see an exclamation mark, you have an error. Notice, it looks like I may have a problem with my disk space. Let's hover our cursor over it and see what it says. Yep, I'm running out of disk space. Click the Manage button to see how to fix the issue. Manage and Upgrade buttons will only appear if there is an error or warning. When I click the Manage button, it tells me to contact my service provider. Cool, I'll do that. Finally, let's scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the page. In the footer, you'll find links to the cPanel store. 
trademark information, the privacy policy, and documentation. That ends our tour of the cPanel interface. I hope you've learned your way around the Jupyter theme. For more information about cPanel, go to cPanel.net or follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Discord. Our username there is at cPanel. Let us know if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thank you for watching and enjoy.